the map png file on your timeline right click select new fusion clip jump into the fusion page with the median one selected hit shift spacebar search for shape 3d add the shape 3d node then with the shape 3d selected hit shift spacebar one more time and search for renderer 3d add the render 3d node then get rid of this connection to the media out grab the output of renderer 3d and drag it into the media out then select the shape 3d go to the inspector in the top right corner under shape change it to sphere now jump over to the translation tab use the set x and drag this back now you can keyframe the x and the y axis to make it rotate Put your playhead to where you want the rewind effect to stop, then make a cut right there. Drag the ending to video layer number 2. Select the first part, hit Ctrl and R to bring up the time controls. Hit the strap down right here, then go to rewind. Choose 200%. Now drag the upper part towards the ending right here. If you want to change the frame, you can use the lower handles. If you want to change the speed, use the upper handles. Go to your effects library in the top left corner, go to titles, text plus, drag the text plus title on top of your clip. With the text plus title selected, you can do any adjustments that you want to do in the inspector in the top right corner. But then go down to where it says open effects and search for fast noise. Drag the fast noise effect onto the text plus. Go to your inspector in the top right corner, choose effects, then under preset, choose water surface. And if the movement is too harsh for you, you can always adjust the contrast to your liking. If your clip in the fusion page open, you want to select media in one, hit shift spacebar, type in planar and add the planar tracker node. With the planar tracker node selected, you want to select the part of the frame that you want to track. Then you want to jump over to the inspector in the top right corner under reference frame set set. Then under tracker, hybrid point area, motion type, translation is fine for this. Then we want to track forward. Once the tracking is finished, we want to go back to reference frame, select go and then track backwards. With the tracking being done, we want to change the operation mode to stabilize and right now you can see if I zoom out that we have this blank edges and to fix that we want to select the planar tracker and add this transform node right here then we want to zoom in like that and then we want to reposition or reframe our shot and when we play right now we can see that we're perfectly locked on her face with no blanking edges this video is sponsored by Envato Elements and while I'm telling you about their service you can watch me create a beautiful logo animation in DaVinci Resolve in less than a couple seconds using their assets. But they don't only provide the ventures of templates, titles, transitions and motion graphics, they also have music, sound effects, overlays and stock footage. In fact, all of the music, sound effects, overlays and stock footage in this video are from Envato Elements. So they provide all the digital assets that we as creators use on a daily basis and effectively combine what would easily be three four or even more individual subscriptions just into one. And by signing up for this service, you will get access to a library of over 11 million assets unlimited downloads for just $16.50 a month. And if that sounds like something that could help you out, be sure to check out the link in the description to also secure your seven day free trial. And thank you Envato for sponsoring today's video. First, we add a background node and connect the output of the background with the input of the media out. Select the background one, go to the inspector in the top right corner, drag down the alpha. Now hit shift spacebar and type in S rectangle, add the S rectangle node. With the S rectangle node selected, hit shift spacebar one more time and search for S render, add the S render node. Now connect the output of S render one into the output of background one to create merge one. Now select the S rectangle, go to the inspector and use the width and the height to make that rectangle fit your screen exactly. Uncheck solid increase the border width go to style and you can give it any color that you like then go to controls under length you want to right click go to modify with anim curves go to my website which is linked in the description down below download the free film grain overlays and the free film frame overlays drag the film grain overlay on top of your footage select it go to the inspector in the top right corner change the composite mode to overlay then drag in the free film frame overlays one of them you don't have to change the composite mode because the alpha channel is already baked in now you have a perfectly vintage looking video 
stack your video clips on top of each other, highlight them both, right click, new fusion clip, then jump over in the fusion page, then select the image that should be in the foreground, add an ellipse or a rectangle mask to it, then position the mask to your liking, then with the media and two selected, I'm gonna add a transform node, select the transform node, shrink down the size using the inspector in the top right corner, then right here, I'm gonna grab the transform node and position my image to where I want it to be. With the transform node one selected, I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and type in drop and add a drop shadow node. This is a studio version only feature. First of all, you wanna navigate to your notes area, right click and select add alpha output. Now grab the blue output of your last node and connect it into the just created alpha output. Then you wanna navigate to your magic mask tab right here. You can either choose object or a person. And if you choose person, you have different features like arms, clothing, face, hair, hat, whatever. Now just select person and draw a stroke over the person that you want to be rotoscoped. You can now choose better and the quality will obviously get better. And once you're happy with the selection you have to track this button right here to track the mask back and forth because right now the mask is only affecting the frame that we drew the mask on.